Hey guys, I am back and I, uh, I looked over the last episode and I realized I completely looked past something that I, you know, ran through. So let's look up here further and further. Let's head back. Yeah, I had, you know, come in here, killed this, picked up the thing, and walked past this. Which, ah, there we go. Yeah, because I, I didn't know. I did not see that switch, and that little switch is apparently exactly what you need. But I managed to turn off I think the digester. Come on. Um. Okay, I turned off the digester in there. Which means we fall down perfectly safe and sound. And then we're carried along, singing a song, side by copyright, someone, probably Frank Sinatra. I don't know. Irving Berlin. He write, wrote most of those really catchy songs for, you know, generations, essentially. Okay, what's that do? Ah! It opens the portal of death. Lovely. I okay, if my head runs into one of those I die instantly. Good to know. Yeah, hi. Fuck off cat. He's like, hi, I'm gonna run up. What the hell? Alright, this is seriously pissing me off. I hate these. Let's take a look here. Well, that launched me back good and far, didn't it? Alright, I've definitely got to remain crouched. Let's see. How in the hell am I supposed to get through there? Seriously, this, this has got to be a matter of ridiculous spot-on timing. This is my one problem with this mod. As much as I like it, these guys took a lot of stuff that was... Either, um, yeah, you know, like a glitch that became a thing, or one or two, you know, things and seemed, one or, or, you know, one or two appearance things and made it a lot more difficult. I'm sure this isn't in some way to keep the newbies out, but I, I don't get it. Alright. Fuck's sake. Alright. Am I supposed to just let it ride? I don't think I'm supposed to because... Yeah. Let me take a look here. I might be able to do it. Nope. I need to figure out how this works because it looks like I might be able to just ride it through. And I've just got to figure out the timing. Or not. Not at all. This is starting to be small. Okay, so I can run into it head first when it's going up, but not when it's going down. Apparently, I guess? Am I supposed to, like, Run halfway through standing and go the rest of the way crouching? That's about the only thing I can think of. Aside from turning on no clip, this is the only thing I can think of. I only just figured out how to get that to work, too. And it is looking very, very tempting right now. Let me take a look around. What's that do, even? I'm not even sure what that does. Maybe nothing. Alright. Alright. There's an entire other path here that I just missed. 
I think. No, no, it's just a pit. Alright. So what am I missing here? Uh, no explanation. It's just a control panel. Moving parts do not operate. Am I supposed to jump on top of them? I mean, what? Am I supposed to satchel them? No, that was not it. And I probably just wasted something important. Alright. I'm starting to get a little, uh, a little irritated yet again. Alright. Alright. You know what? Hold on a second, guys. I'll be right back. Hey, guys, I am back, and I have double checked now, and this is, in fact, what I'm supposed to do in some way get through these stupid things, but what someone recommended doing was that, and then F6, I died. Again, instantly. There's another set directly after that one. F6, alright. Alright. Okay, alright, we did it. Alright, so jump down here, obviously, because we don't want to die. Uh, oh, there's stuff over there. Well, obviously, I don't want to go that way. Um, I think there's stuff over this way. It looks stuffy, I mean. Probably not. I'm not, I'm thinking I'm heading the wrong way. I'm almost entirely convinced I'm heading the wrong way. Fuck, I hate those things. And I'm running low on ammo as well. Look, there'd be nothing here worth, uh, worth getting, and I've just wasted my time. <sighs> well, I found a really weird way to get where I'm supposed to go. Isn't there, you know, usually ammo in those damn things? Or even just sometimes ammo? Uh... Oh well. In the hell? Oh god damn it. Fuck. Alright, well let's let that explode. And, uh, then we'll head that way. <sighs> this ammo is a sometimes treat. Alright, that's copyright Sesame Street. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah, that was... Well, that's actually was cookies or a sometimes snack. Alright, I don't think the fact that anyone gets anymore is... Cookie Monster was not supposed to be a role model. Cookie Monster is supposed to be an example of how you weren't supposed to act. That is why it was the Cookie Monster. I mean, the monsters are all, you know, cute and adorable and stuff, but uh, they were supposed to be fairly obviously not the way people act. So, that is why it was Cookie Monster, not Cookie Guy. Yeah, and that, then, uh, well, we've got to change, you know, Cookie Monster. That way, kids, uh, you know, so he doesn't eat cookies that much. But that's, that's what he got. You know what? You don't need to change it so he doesn't eat cookies that much. Just make him less likable by, you know, kids. Have him eat one. You know, that's all it takes. All it takes is one. Then the kids will stop wanting to emulate him as much. Well, most of them. The boring ones. No, but, then, no, but my point is, yeah, it's not like... You're not supposed to want to... Well, you weren't originally supposed to want to be like the monsters. I mean, that's why Oscar was a grouch. Cookie Monster is a cookie monster. I'm not sure what Snuffleupagus was, uh, aside from, you know, very, very 
apathetic. What's this way? But yeah, I guess we can't get this way. Come on, run. Oh, funny hop my way to glory. I wonder what's even down here. I'm probably not supposed to come this way at all. I'm probably going to, like, walk. Yeah, I'm not supposed to come this way at all. Well, it was worth a look. Yeah, yeah, that's why Oscar was a grouch. You weren't supposed to want to be a grouch. The cookie monster was a monster. Cephalophagus was, I don't know, depressed or just down. And that's why you should be happy. Oh, uh, this looks like a fairly right place to be. Uh, but yeah, that's... I oh, seriously, that's... You're not supposed to want to emulate the monsters. They're just friendly because they should... Uh, they, you know, were supposed to be friendly. That way you wouldn't be scared of them. Ow. It's probably supposed to land on those pipes. Nah, it doesn't look it. So yeah, that's my theory. Have Cookie Monster off someone. Once it just once, that's all it takes. Then no one's gonna want to be the Cookie Monster. And plus, he was uh, originally a bit scarier looking. Anyway, if you ever look up the actual first night, he was. Uh, oh god, I can't remember what the hell the show was called. It was like Sam and Friends, which was the original show the Muppets appeared on. Uh, and they, some of those older Muppets were goddamn frightening. I guess I go this way. Yes, that would make sense, wouldn't it? But yeah, there's yeah, some of those Muppets are nightmare fodder. And the original Kermit was a monster. Well, not a monster monster, but just ugly looking and a bit scary. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. What did that do? Oh, I'm supposed to get it to somewhere it'll do good? I guess. Maybe I move it all the way over? Let's find out. What's this? Ah. Alright, let's see. How do I do this? Uh, I guess I gotta get it closer to the middle. Uh, I guess it's sometime... That's the problem, when things become adorable, we start forgetting, or you know, especially nostalgic, we start, uh, stop forgetting what their actual meanings were. And who here's heard all the tales of, uh, you know, the Arabian Nights, Ali Baba and his 40 thieves and blah blah blah. Aladdin, of course. And the original tale of that, Aladdin wished that every night he would get to spend the night with the Sultan's wife, not the, uh, not the princess. He was, you know, essentially having sex with the Sultan's wife against her will. You know, it could, he was convincing her that it was, or, you know, she was convinced he was the Sultan. Not a great, uh, not a great story there. And, uh, you know, he also had two genies, a genie of a ring and a genie of a lamp. But yeah, it's not really all that wholesome when you get down to it. Uh, well, then again, you know, Hunchback of Notre Dame, I mentioned before, I think. Everyone dies. Everyone. You know, it's not a matter of, oh, it's a Disney ending off. You know, it's not a matter of, oh, it's a Disney ending, you know, happily ever after, blah, blah, blah. Nope, everyone dead. Fucking dead. Yeah. Dead and or necrophilia. Oh, yeah. Oh, really, it's, uh... When Quasimodo dies... I believe they find him, uh... curled up around Esmeralda's corpse in her grave. Of course, in the black and white movie, he just died while ringing the bells and she ran off with, uh... 
or she ran off with what's his name, the idiot. But no, and in the story, she died a uh, miserable, miserable death by hanging. And, uh, so it's about how the cookie implodes. Well, how is the hundred percent? So F six. Have enough time as any to save. Oh God! Fuck. And that's why we F six. Because I have no coordination. Case in point. another digester. We don't want to go in that, I don't think. This is the wrong way, I think. Um, eh. Huh. Well. This is another fine mess I've gotten me into. Ow. Let's hope I can, uh, well, I've got three bullets left. Um, uh, fuck. Water. Hey, maybe we are in the right area. That would be awesome. Instead of all this water, ammo. God damn it, it replaces one of the two bolts I have. Or bullets I have. <sighs> well. I always, uh... I don't know. I just thought ammo was scarce enough in a lot of these games. Now it's... Enforced rarity. They're trying to raise the prices of ammo artificially. I assume there'll be collector's edition ammo release. That's how it always starts. Bullshit, I tells you. Um, really? I'm all the way back here. I don't even... <clears throat> ah, fuck's sake. Alright, let's... Let's get back to where we were. That's the wrong way. Wait, we could just load. That would be much, much faster. Huh. Sometimes I wonder about me. Hi. Alright, so... Alright, so this is obviously not where I'm supposed to be. Let's load the other one. This one. Because... This is more likely to be the right place. Let's stop here and take a look. I think I'm supposed to go that way. Fuck. Alright, go again. Right, let's quick save again. That way it's at the damn top of the list. I'm trying to figure out why it auto saves when I hop up here. And I guess that's... Alright, this way looks accurate enough. This is where I was, god damn it. Alright, well, we're definitely still stupid. What's that there? What's down here? Yeah, let's make out those things. Mm. Alright. Um, some, somehow I'm supposed to get on that thing, I guess. figure out what path I take through this lunatic asylum. Alright, I think I must have to take this path. Yeah, this looks about right, actually. Or not at all. Well, let's take this path. There you go. Um, this is going to take me exactly back to where I was before. Well, let's take it and... Um, that's not exactly what I wanted to do. Because this is nothing. This leads nowhere. There are two doors on each side and neither of them does a damn thing. So again... 
and there's an annoying auto save point right between them. Alright, uh, there's gotta be something I'm missing here. Alright. I, I think I have an idea. Damn it. Sure, I'm not. I know we're running a little bit over, but that's fine because I have no idea what I'm doing. Alright, so let me see. I'm guessing it's something to do with this crap up here. There's so much stuff up here that I could probably make my way across probably supposed to as well. Yeah, like, look at this. This is different. There's gotta be a reason for this. Can we get up there? No. Hmm. Oh, damn. Uh, so I'm out of ideas. Seriously. Seriously out of ideas. All of them. Forever. 